Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and today's experiment is the rocket pinwheel, wind power. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a balloon, a pencil, a pin, a rubber band, and a straw. Start off this experiment, grab your straw with the end that doesn't bend. You want to make sure it's a bendy straw. Put the balloon on, and then take your rubber band and wrap it around a good you know, five or six times till the balloon is not going to come off. Or it's not pinching the straw too much. So you give it a pull, balloon's on there, and you should be set on that part of it. Now with an adult, take your pin and put it through the middle of the straw, uh, about halfway through, it doesn't be exact, and then push that into the eraser of the pencil. Uh, be careful, as you know, pins are sharp. So adult supervision, and then now you're pretty much set up with the experiment. All you have to do is blow into the uh, empty end of the straw, the bendy end, and uh, till the balloon is completely full or the amount of wind power you want in there, and then cap off the straw with your thumb, and then you're ready to go. And then all you do is uh, let go of your thumb, hold the pencil with the other hand, and you've got a rocket pinwheel with wind power. The balloon-powered pinwheel is an example of Newton's third law of motion, which states for every action there's an equal or opposite reaction. You've uh, blown a balloon before and let it go, and so therefore you've experienced this law by watching the balloon fly around the room and all the air comes out. Air has mass. It's made of molecules. The air molecules that are pushed out of the balloon against the molecules in the atmosphere create a, a reaction force called thrust which it acts upon the balloon. Thrust acts on the balloon with an equal force in the opposite direction of the air that is squeezed out. Rockets are launched using the same principle. Rocket boosters are full of combustible fuel. Rocket fuel gases quickly expand and rush out through the exhaust nozzle. The air creates a thrust powerful enough to propel the rocket upward and out of the Earth's atmosphere. In the case of our rocket, the pinwheel of the balloon forces the air out the straw, and thrust uh, causes the balloon to spin around in circular motion. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.